All right, hey folks, welcome back to Texas Blues Man Barbecue. Today we're going to smoke some cheese in the cold smoke mode on this Lone Star Grills 36 inch pellet smoker. So, what the cold smoke mode does for the fireboard controller is it pours about three quarters of the fire pit full of pellets, lights them up, and then turns the fan off and then just lets it smoke. And the amount of pellets it puts in it says it lasts three to four hours of just smoldering smoke like it would happen if you had you know a, a pellet tube or something like that in your regular smoker so um, with the fan and everything blowing it starts convection of air through the fire pit through the uh, chimney and I usually like to do these things before, uh, you know, to test it out before I, I film it, just so I know what's going to happen and all that other kind of stuff, and I can give some solid wisdom. But not today. All right, just plugged it in. Let's turn on the controller. All right, here we are. Turned on the controller, press knob to ignite. We're gonna turn the knob to the right or the left <laughs> until it gets to press knob to cold smoke. And then, here we go. Now, like I said, this should fill up the fire pit to about three quarters full and uh, start the pellets. And then when the fan turns off, it'll start the clock and Right now, it is 1.45 p.m. We'll see how long this cycle lasts. All right, I just had to show you it's igniting right now and the white smoke pouring out of the stack. It's fairly impressive. Now the fan has just cut off and it stayed on five minutes, folks. So. Now the fan is off, it's running cold smoke. It's now 104 degrees in the cooker uh, and the smoke is still coming from the stack. All right, temperature is quickly falling. It's uh, 99 now. I did open the door briefly. So uh, now it's 98.8, seven. I'm gonna go ahead and go get the cheese. Won't melt that fast. All right, put the cheese on these grates here. Oh man, look at that smoke. It's awesome. Why not? Put them right there, there they go. Temperature's down to 96 and a half degrees, falling quickly since I opened up the door, but it is, according to my phone, around 70 degrees right now out here, I think. So <clears throat> we're going to let this go and next three or four hours and just let it smoke. Be back later. All right. Well, here it is. Now it's uh, 420 and the uh, pellets quit smoking a little while ago. Uh, I didn't know that the fan kicked back on after about one hour and stoked the, uh, the fire a little bit and then it sat there and smoked another, you know, 45 minutes or so. Now, let's see what the cheese looks like. It definitely got some smoke, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off and See, it didn't run for three or four hours like I was expecting it to from the uh, documentation. However, we'll, uh, we'll see. Looks good. It's got more smoke on it than it did before. Ooh, I just saw a drip. I'm gonna get a pan. All right. Just purely out, of, purely out of curiosity, you can hear the fan running now, but um, the, uh, I shut off the controller, so now 
uh, it goes through its regular cool down mode, which means no pellets, just fan running. And when it gets to the proper temperature, it'll, it'll shut off automatically. But anyway, I'm just gonna take the uh, firebox out real quick and see uh, what kind of shape it's in. Yeah, and it quit smoking because all the pellets uh, got, got burnt. So there you go. Now I'm all ready for next time. All right, so here it is. You can see um, it's nice and melty. It did get hot in there, but um, even though it didn't go for three or four hours, it still seemed to have plenty of smoke on the cheese. Uh, I like the idea of it going for a couple hours instead. I'm gonna wrap this cheese up, maybe stick it in the fridge for a little bit, and then like eat some. All right. By the way, this, uh, I got this from Market Street. If you are somewhere where you have a Market Street, this is called 1833 Cheddar. This is some ghost pepper habanero jack cheese. Both of these are the cheddar, and this is a Havarti dill. If you're wondering what kind of cheese I smoked. These are all cheeses that I've had before and I like. Havarti, of course, melted way more than the others. I think this is the one. All right, here we are. So the uh, smoker's still in cool down mode. You can probably hear it running over there, but I just wanted to let you know what I thought about the overall cook since I told you in the begin with, I haven't done this before and I took you on this journey with me. The first cold smoke that I did on the Lone Star Grills uh, pellet smoker and uh, I think it went great. Um, I was hesitant to do this for a long time because I was thinking, hey man, I need three or four hours to sit around and wait for this thing to smoke and everything and uh, in two hours it was done. Uh, as you see in the graph, it went, it fired up, shut down. Then went about an hour and then the fan kicked back on to stoke the flame just to make sure that we stayed with some smoke. And then it lasts about another hour and then it burned out. And looking from the ash that we saw on the fire pot, I don't think that it actually filled it up like two thirds full or three quarters full like the documentation said it did. But you know, um, I've also got some upgrades uh, to the uh, firmware on the uh, controller itself since then. So maybe they you know, did something with the amount of cold smoke time and everything. But let me tell you, I just tried some of that cheese that I pulled off there, you know, that I picked up out of the grate, and, and it's fabulous. I don't think it needs three or four hours, a couple hours under some cold smoke was just fine. Now, I have a friend in Tennessee that I first heard about smoking cheese from, and uh, when he came in, he told me, he said, you know, I, I don't smoke cheese unless it's below 60 degrees outside or else it melts. And well, I'll, 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 I'll say a couple of things about that. I, I think number one, that he, he's probably right. If it was, you know, 50 or 45 degrees out here, then the cheese would have remained more solid, number one. Number two, I learned from Cowboy Kent Rollins that uh, he actually puts an ice bath in his, uh, in his smoker underneath the cheese to try to cool the air temperature in the smoker while the cheese is smoking. Of course, he's doing heat smoke and not cold smoke, uh, offset heat smoke. Uh, too, so uh, he, that really needs that a lot more if you're trying to do that. But uh, with the Lone Star Grills, um, when that temperature jumped up to like 125 or something, that's really where it, it melted that Havarti. Uh, but the cheddar and the jack cheese stayed fairly solid. So if you're looking for what type of cheese to smoke, uh, you might go for a nice cheddar or a jack cheese. They, they uh, hold up under the heat just a little bit better and uh, then, then more than some of the softer cheeses, at least anyway. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna enjoy this cheese and, uh, and you know, I'll, so I'll, I'll smoke some more cheese when it gets hotter outside, I'm not afraid. So uh, 
we'll 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 have some more cheese smoking videos in the in the future, and we'll try to smoke some different kinds of cheese. If there's certain kind of cheese that you really like that you want me to smoke, and especially now that it only it takes a couple hours, then uh, then let me know, and uh, I'll I'll smoke it, and we'll find out how it does. Anyway, for now, this is me signing off. Uh, God bless you. Have a good day.